Welcome back to Globe with Shelly. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my weekly and monthly skincare treatments. So these are all of the things that I do every single week and month in my skin in order to create those changes that I want to make. So these are treatments that are for anti-aging, for reparative skincare, to get rid of any scarring that you might have, to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, to help with sun damage. So these are all the treatments that I do. So I'm gonna go over each one, I'm gonna tell you what I do, how I do them, and how often I do them. So let's get started. I'm super excited for this video, you guys. Remember, this channel's all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe, don't forget to ring the notification bell. I want you to know when I post future videos. So I am super pumped to be doing this video today because I want to share with you the treatments that have made so many remarkable changes in my own skin and what I do each week and each month to help combat those signs of aging. I am 46, so I do have signs of aging. I have some fine lines. I have uh, enlarged pores. I have some acne scarring from my 20s when I wasn't so good about taking my makeup off or washing my skin or even hydrating it. I was terrible in my 20s. So I am undoing all of that damage now that I'm older. Okay, so one of the first treatments that I do use each night is my red light therapy mask. And I just love this. It does so many great things for my skin. It helps reduce hyperpigmentation. My skin has never looked as clear as it looks today. And I definitely think red light therapy is one of the main reasons that a lot of my hyperpigmentation has gone away. I used to have really bad red all along here, red splotches here. I had bad rosacea along here. Now I did get IPL treatment for it. That's the laser treatment. I did get a few sessions of that. It did help a little bit, uh, especially with some of the veinage along my rosacea, but this is what really turned my rosacea around. And I use this probably four nights a week. So I just kind of alternate. Some nights I do skip it, but about four nights a week is all you need. Now I did use this every night for the first couple of weeks that I used it. And then I went down to four nights a week. So this is amazing. And I do this right before, right after cleansing, when I dry my skin, I do it right before my PM routine. So that is one thing that I do. Okay, so what is another treatment that I do on a regular? Well, it is facial massage, guys. I use my facial massager, and I have more than just this facial massager. I have a gua sha massager, I have a bar massager, I have a roller, but I give myself some kind of facial massage where I will sculpt, kind of sculpt up my cheeks get rid of drainage. This is wonderful for depuffing the face. And I use this in the evening. Sometimes if I'm super puffy on the weekends, I'll use it in the morning, but I just do it for a couple of minutes, maybe three to five minutes and I roll it around and I just really make sure that I get the massage all over my skin. Massaging is wonderful. It increases blood flow. It gets blood to those uh, areas that normally don't get it. Another thing that massage does is it relaxes your facial muscles and you really want to relax your facial muscles because tension is one of the biggest things that leads to dynamic wrinkles. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Tension is one of the things that can lead to dynamic wrinkles. It's not the only thing, but having too much tension in your face, not necessarily a good thing. So having some kind of massage built into your routine is really great. And I, like I said, you can use any massager. There are cheap ones. I got this on Amazon, I think for $19. So it's super cheap, not an expensive tool at all. And one definitely worth the price tag. The, these red light therapy masks are a little bit more expensive. You are going to be putting, I mean, especially if you get a good one, you're looking at a few hundred dollars, but they're definitely worth the price, worth investing in because they do create changes to your skin that are quite dramatic. Okay, so what is another treatment I do? Well, I do a chemical peel twice a week and I have two different chemical peels that I use 
So I use this Peter Thomas Roth Peptide 21 Amino Acid Exfoliating Peel Pads. These are amazing. They're 20% exfoliating complex. They have phytic acid, salicylic acid, and sodium lactate, so lactic acid. These are great for resurfacing the skin. You wipe the pad on, they're little pads, and all you do is take one out like so and you wipe it across your face and then you let that sit for two to three minutes and then um, you rinse it off in order to deactivate the peel. And this is just a nice little peel. And remember when I use this, when I use any kind of chemical peel, I do not use the glycolic acid in my routine. So keep that in mind. You will want to like not use an AHA later if you use a peel. So I do this at night in the evening, right after I've washed my face and then I continue on with the rest of my skincare routine like normal except for eliminating the glycolic acid. So that is what I do on Wednesday nights. What do I do on Saturday night? I have a chemical peel party. Yes, I have a chemical peel party on Saturday nights, y'all. It is really like hopping in this house, let me tell you. So what do I do? I use AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution by The Ordinary. This is inexpensive, but this packs a punch. I mean a punch. This is a serious chemical peel. Like you need to be making sure that you rinse this off properly after you're done. This stuff is strong, but it works. So I do this chemical peel at night. Sometimes I'll do it in the morning on a Saturday because I'm not getting ready. I'm not in a rush to get ready for work or anything like that. So I can do this on a Saturday morning, especially if I want my skin to really glow. If I'm going somewhere special that night, I will sometimes do it in the morning. But it is a kind of a like a red peel. So Cassandra Bankson, another influencer, talks about this one a lot because she absolutely loves it and I love it too. So I can understand why she likes it so much because it is amazing. So you just rub a thin layer all over your face, let it sit for up to 10 minutes. I have only gotten to six minutes, guys. That's how strong this peel is. If it burns at all, be careful, okay? This, this is a strong peel. You might need to work up to this peel. Like you might need to start out for like two minutes and then like increase to three, then increase to four, then increase to five. It is a strong peel. So just understand that and take precautions and use gloves and don't get this everywhere and wash it completely off. Make sure you get all the spots because this, this little baby packs a punch, but it increases cellular turnover. It exfoliates the skin, giving you a nice smooth skin surface. It's important to use a chemical peel once or twice a week in order to increase cellular turnover, to help exfoliate the skin, because that's going to um, not only prepare your skin to absorb more of your skincare products, but it's also going to help increase the collagen, increase elastin, increase firmness, tone, texture, all of those things are gonna happen when you do peels regularly. So those are the two peels, Wednesday and Saturday. So I do them two nights a week and I don't follow with any kind of glycolic acid when I use a peel. Okay, so those are my skincare peels. Now, what are my monthly treatments? So one of the monthly treatments that I do do is a microderm abrasion treatment. And here I have Trophy Skin's Microderm Abrasion tool. And I just love this. I only do it once a month. I, you know, people have mixed feelings about microderm abrasion. I think it works wonders for my acne scarring. Now I do have some acne scarring right here. And I don't know if you can see it. It was so much worse six years ago. Like I'm talking deep pitted, like terrible. It just did not look good. I have been working on it and working on it and working on it. And this is one of the treatments that I do do. And when I do this treatment, I do it once a month. And when I do it, I skip my chemical peel for that night. And I just do the microderm abrasion. And I basically kind of just go all over my skin like that. I make sure that every little bit 
is taken off. I do one pass, sometimes a second pass, especially over that cheek area that has the scarring. And these have like this diamond tip on the end of it. It's like amazing. These are amazing. This retails, I think for $149, something along that line. It's not a super expensive tool, but it's pretty pricey still. And you can buy the tips separately. I actually bought this thin tip, this small tip separately because this is probably the best tip for taking off that top layer of skin. So this is like an exfoliation, but it's a physical exfoliant. This is amazing, especially if you have any acne scarring, if you have any like really if your pores are really large I have large pores and so this is a great tool for that and the nights that I use this and I only use this once a month okay so I use this once a month on it let's say it's on a Saturday when I would usually do my chemical peel instead I'll do this and then I follow it with my doctor pen micro needling. So I do this once a month as well. Now I make sure to put four weeks between my treatments with my microdermabrasion tool. And I'll pull out the pen so you can see it. It's kind of like this. It comes with these little heads and you can buy extra, but they're individually wrapped. They're super sanitary right? This one is 16 needle. I have 16. I have 36. I have the nanos. These are amazing. And I actually used it at a 0.5, between a 0.5 and a 0.75. So I used the 0.75 around my cheek area. I used the 0.5 on my forehead, my chin, above my lips, and on my nose. Okay. But I use the 0.75 for this whole area right here. And what I'm trying to do is collagen induction therapy. So you only want to do this once every four weeks. You do not want to overdo collagen induction therapy because what it will do is it will start to break down your collagen. So you can only, if you do microneedle, you can only microneedle once a month. Now, that being said, I also get in office microneedling sessions and those are done at a 1.5, so much deeper. But I only go to 0.75 at home. That's as far as I'll do. Um, but it still does make changes in the skin. If you do do in office treatments, don't do home treatments at the same time. Again, you don't want to destroy the collagen. But when you make tiny little tears in the skin, you're forcing your skin to pump up collagen in order to repair itself. And so that is the principle behind microdermabrasion. And what I love about these needles is they're not like the little, I don't use a roller. And the reason I don't use a roller is it kind of drags and stretches the skin. So the pin is really good because as you can see, it's a very straight, straight on. And when the machine is turned on, it just goes up and down. So you kind of slide it along and it goes up and down on the face. Instead of dragging the needles over the face, it just goes up and down. And what I'll do is I'll take little sections and I kind of go along that section like that. And then I go up and then I'll do it at a diagonal. And then I'll take another section. I'll go over, I'll go up and down, and I'll go at an angle. And I'll just keep doing that kind of all over my skin, changing the settings. The great thing about this is it has a little dial so you can change the depth really easily with this pen. It is amazing. I have to say that I absolutely love microneedling. When I do microneedling, I follow immediately with hyaluronic acid and EGF serum. So those are the two serums that I use, hyaluronic acid and EGF serum, and then a moisturizer, and that is it. That is all I put on my skin. A repairing moisturizer like the Double Tolerane La Roche-Posay moisturizer, this one, okay, or Skin Fix or another one similar to this, and that is it. So my skin treatment itself is the pen and I go very minimal on the skincare because remember I'm looking for hydration. I wanna make sure that any product that I put on my skin after I microneedle is gonna be sanitary. It's not gonna cause any irritation. Um, I don't wanna burn my skin or hurt my skin. So that is why I keep my skincare at a minimum. Some people use like a vitamin C after microneedling. 
I feel like vitamin C is a little too harsh for after microneedling. You've got a lot of open channels in your skin, so you really want to be careful. Also, make sure that you're sanitary. Make sure you're using gloves. If you're going to do this at home, make sure that you're sanitary. Make sure you're using gloves. I always hesitate to tell people I microneedle, and I didn't say it for a long time on my channel because I didn't want to lead anyone to do it because I don't want to be responsible if you get an infection. It's not the easiest thing to do at home. So do keep that in mind. You definitely want to make sure your environment's sanitary. You want to make sure that you wipe your face down a little bit with some alcohol. Even though it's drying, you're going to put hydration back into your skin anyway. So make sure that you do that. You're wearing gloves. You're doing everything that you can to stop any kind of risk of infection or getting, you know, something on your skin that could potentially hurt your skin. You don't want to damage your skin long term. So that being said, when you do pin, I would keep it at a 0.25 or a 0.5 level on the other areas of your face. And if you want to go a little higher in the cheek area where your skin's a little thicker, that is totally fine. 0.75, that's collagen and 0.5 to 0.75, that's collagen induction therapy. So that's a pretty deep needling. Okay, so having said that, just make sure you're just being very careful. And I will tell you guys, I have been microneedling myself at home for four years. I've never had an infection. I've never had a problem with it, but I'm very, very, very careful. I only do it once every four weeks. I use a pen, I make sure that everything is sanitary, I make sure to wipe my face down with alcohol before I begin my treatment, and I make sure to really use only products that are hydrating and plumping afterward. So there you have it. Those are all of the skincare routine, all of the skincare treatments that I do in a single month and in a week. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box. I'm so happy to answer your questions. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Globe with Shelly.